All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my YouTube channel. Hit that subscribe button. It looks like it is that time of the year, slicing and dicing. As we get ready for the new year, you know this is uh, going down for this camp, that's for sure. We are 12 weeks away from New Year's. Are you getting ready? Or are you going to wait until New Year's Day? I always say, let's get ready now. Here's a little start to the workout. Did some... Uh, little abs there, little knee ups, a little lower back here, warming it up. Today's workout is going to be back. Um, right, Titan? Titan's here getting his reading in. Um, but I do do hyperextensions a lot more than just on back day. I do it uh, through the week. Uh, a lot of it is stretching it out and just kind of, I love that contraction in the lower back. I don't know about you guys, but when that lower back is fired up, it just feels great. And hitting a couple wrong with killing it before a back day right there's days. nothing wrong with pre-fatiguing a lower back before you get into your back day um they said you know i'm not really pre-fatiguing i'm not killing it i'm just stretching it out there a couple different exercises here titan do you like any of this you're reading your david books all right so um cable machine uh a machine and then uh this one's a nice little one i need to get one of these for the home front you know, sit there and watch some uh, some friends and get a little stuff in there. And I don't know what the Cairo's up to, but he's always trying to help me out. Uh, let's see what we got for today's back workout. Well, we can already see that grip is overly wide. Uh, so you kind of see, eh, we'll get some angles here, but it's a wide, wide grip instead of just a basic narrow grip or basic grip. You can see it's almost like a snatch grip, but I'm going all the way out to the lines there, over and above. Uh, it is tougher. Uh, I'm trying to do it just to really build up that hand strength as we do this. And uh, obviously with those hands that far out, it's rotating it. Those are little details, but try it out. Uh, you can try a little lighter weight maybe and take it even higher to the chest relative to the waistline. Some nice pull-ups. Who does not like pull-ups? Uh, you can see that uh, I'm keeping that pressure on the back. Oh, look who's fatiguing here. Huh? Those, those first ones look a little better than this. This is trying to get those final reps in. Oh, you can see it. He's losing it. Oh, man. All right. All right. Okay, I'm good with that. Obviously, I took a little longer rest. It came back a little stronger on this set, which is nice. And again, rest as much as you guys need. I never believe that you should train fatigue through the whole workout. This is another bent over row, but now this is a closer grip. Um, again, Cairo is there. Kenji is a great chiropractor. Uh, so if you guys are ever in Texas, he's down there now. Uh, let's see. It's just basic trying to pull those elbows back there, as you can see, and it's a closer grip. And again, this is a machine, so it kind of goes in and then pulls outside. It's a nice, nice one for a secondary. Then a little pull-down action, reverse pull-down. Uh, again, a reverse pull-down feels great. And, and for me, I can move this around to the lower lats or the mid-back. Uh, lats are always going to work through that with any kind of back work. Um, but again, the main point was going inside. And I'm going inside here again with the tr the shrugs. Mid rhomboids all the way up into the traps, into the rear delts. A great, great exercise. And yes, I'm bowing forward. I kind of a lean. But it's not like you're not going from the lower back. You're falling over. So it would look like bad form to the untrained eye. Enjoy this, guys. Again, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you tomorrow. Well, hey, guys. I really feel like I need to share this with you. We are making some changes, and I want to share with the world. So welcome, welcome, welcome. We don't have much to share today, but that small little tweak that we put on our life this month, I'm going to tell you what it is. So I have some steak here. You guys know that we got pig monkeys everywhere and uh, i'm gonna show you how quick and easy it is to actually cook the steak i'm not gonna use the grill i know the grill is pretty easy i'm just gonna use the pan i'm gonna do it inside one ingredient kaboom done but what i really want to tell you is that mike has some stuff coming up 
and we gotta get him ready. So, he's always on the plan. You guys know he's on the meal plan. I am on the meal plan. But when shoots come up, movies uh, to shoot, uh, I don't know, events, fitness expos, you name it, the Olympia's coming up. We have to look our best. So, because of the shoots coming up this weekend and possibly next, and it's got a lot of movie premieres coming up as well. We are going to do the tryout. You guys heard about the tryout. Some of you did the tryout, and guess what? It is his own plan. And I'll tell you what, the tryout is a great, great plan for anyone to try it. Um, and guys, I'm telling you, if you stay in point, you're gonna see some crazy, crazy results, but you have to follow it to the T. There's so, many things that if you miss one within this program your body is not gonna respond very very well let's remember guys the tryout is not just any diet it's not like a diet you just do it for like a, a couple of weeks and you're done this is something that mike actually put a lot of effort into so he's been doing it for decades right you guys know he's been in the game for Oh, I don't even want to say it. Four decades, it's a long time. Let's say five. Uh, but let me tell you something. This has a diet. It has nutrition. It has supplementation. It has so many, even hydration. Remember the workouts, okay? These are really, really, really important, guys. Cardio. If you miss something out of this program, I'm telling you, then you're not doing the dry out. So if you're going to commit to do the dry out, with Mike or myself, because I'm gonna jump in this as well, I'll tell you what, you have to follow to the T. You gotta make the time. If you gotta do the sacrifice, you can't go out with your friends and party. You just gotta stay on that route. So guys, the dry out, I'm doing it. Mike will do it, of course. But if you guys are going to jump into this dry out, I'll tell you what, make sure you are in the Titan crew so you could stay on the top of the game because Mike will help you to make whatever changes you may need. So check is on the Titan crew. You know how to get there, right? If not, let me know and I will let you know how to get there. So Panda, look at this guy. Stick here, stick there. We got one ingredient. This has everything in it. It has salt, pepper, chopped up vegetables in it. It's great. And you really need nothing else. We're going to let this cook. And in about seven minutes, I'm just going to kind of like sweep it around a little bit. And it's done. It's that easy. So I'll show you how, how it's going to look. And I'm telling you, the taste is wow. Um... And it is good. This is off. This is off my plan right now. There's two pieces. <laughs> I have to really be on the plan because when you're doing the dry out and any other plan, we all know we measure everything. Everything goes on the scale. If you watch the videos, guys, I show you. I literally measure everything, especially Mike. Mike will never touch anything if it doesn't know. How many ounces is this? How many cups is that? Even vegetables, everything. Everything gets measured. So, what do you need in the house? Definitely 100% a food scale. That thing cannot run out of batteries. It's really, really important. When you are on any plant, you need the scale. If you don't have one, guess what? Order one from Amazon. It's not that expensive, guys. Come on, get one from Target. Um, the plan, of course it has steak on the menu, but that doesn't mean that I cooked all the steak and we're gonna eat it in a day. It's just a, a meal, all right? So out of the eight meals that we have, there's tuna, there's fish, there's egg whites, there's chicken. So it's a lot of different proteins, but everything is measured out. Everything is portioned out the way Mike put together the plan. Let me just give him this, you know, prop. Um, and like I said, if you're going to follow it, guess what? You're going to see some amazing results. And we have the Blitz coming out, volume two. 
volume one was really, really hard. I've done it a couple of times. Um, and within two weeks into that first blitz, I saw some insane results on my body that I've never seen before. Some of the people that tried to do it with us couldn't do it. A lot of time consuming, family, life, too hard, too much cardio, too, you know, the diet, really hard. I got you. We have a new blitz coming out your way. Volume two. This is going to be better for you guys if, of course, your life permits to do the plan. And after you do the blitz, my advice and our professional advice is do the dry out after that. And you're going to see how your body is actually going to get nice and round and hard. And you could do shoots and you could do, be selfish for a minute. Give yourself a little time for yourself. Follow a plan. Come on. It's not that hard, guys. It is not. All it takes is the brain, okay? Are you strong enough to go through it? Get it done. If you're not strong enough, I don't know what to tell you. Come join the Titan crew. We're going to try to get your mind strong because that's what we do. We try to help everybody. Hopefully, we can all do it together. So... Okay, I tell you, let me know if you have questions. Comment below. Let us know what else you want to know about the trial.